We're going to begin, for obvious reasons, with the big news of the day. That's Steve Bruce uh, parting company, mutual consent, Shock. et cetera, with Newcastle United. Your, uh, your, your first thought when you heard that? I mean, it was only well, a matter of time, it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I was just expecting it. Um, thought it might have happened yesterday, but it happened today. So, uh, Do you feel sorry for him? Uh, of course I do, for anybody. Um, I, well, I feel sorry for him, of course, but he walks away with a nice... He's, he's at an age now, 60, where... He can, listen, he can walk away from the game now. He's got a nice little payoff there. His pension's probably due now. He's probably got a nice pension, hasn't he? Let's be honest. He's done. He's managed nice a thousand games. Yeah. And no matter what people say about Steve Bruce, he's had a terrific career in management. Yeah, his record, when you look down and you're looking at percentages compared to some of the other managers who are above him who have done a thousand games, he's right down at the bottom, I think, with Pulis. But... A thousand games as a manager is a terrific That's effort. incredible. Uh, an incredible um, effort. And he can walk away with his head held high. You know what I mean? He's, he's no need now. I mean, in two weeks' time, people won't be talking about Steve Bruce. No. So, yeah, it's an highly stressful job. He gets well rewarded for it, even though it's kind of mutual consent, but mm. we know it's, yeah, your time's up. Yeah. Um, but he can walk away and live happily ever after. Yeah, it's like how a relationship ends, isn't it? Whenever a man and a woman split up and it's mutual, cons- one of them's always got to come to the table first and go, can we have a chat? Yeah. That's, I mean, that's mutual, but it's yeah, sort of Yeah, I think it's not, but- and, and Steve actually mentions that in it. He, said, he knew when the new ownership yeah. came in, but he was... But he only has to look at... Uh, he can't complain. The second from bottom, Newcastle, not got a win all season. Right. Lost again at the weekend after leading, and... I, I, it was expected, wasn't it? But like I say, I, it, it's not been good at times. Some of the abuse he's taken, Newcastle's frustration from their fans, their frustration of Mike Ashley and 14 years of that ownership and the lack of investment mm. in players. Unfortunately, it's going to be the manager that always takes the brunt of it because mm. Mike Ashley is very rarely there and the manager is going to take it. Mm. And Steve Bruce, unfortunately, has been the man who's been in the hot seat and he's taking on the brunt of it. But he walks away now. Nice little mm. um, few quid. We'll be off to Barbados probably by the weekend. Job come, done. Come back, Stone Lighter. Nice tan. Yeah. Uh, what do you think the minimum requirement... We'll talk in more detail about Newcastle later, and football fans, of course, can have their say on it on the normal number. Oh, wait, 717-222-334. A minimum requirement this season for whoever comes in has just got to be 17th, isn't it? Irrelevant. No. It's not, they're not going to be happy with that. Well, you're telling me Newcastle fans are going to be happy with 17? No, because they've had that. No, now. I mean the board, the board though. It's, it's oh, all, the board it's, will be, yeah. same as the previous board at, at this moment in time. But the fans, what they want to see is a manager come in and play some good football. That's all they've been crying out for, for how long? And unfortunately, um, they've not had that. With the investment they've made in players and the manager they've had, they've not had that opportunity to play the football they want to see. Mm. So, yeah, the owners will be happy to survive this year. That's what it's all investment about. will come in January and again in the summer. Yeah. But for the fans, they want to see a bit more than that. They don't want a manager to come in who's just going to keep them in the division. They've had that for so too long.